guys and welcome back to another vlog and for once I'm running really late <laughs> So I've turned the trailer around and I'm just gonna make some hay and then I'm literally booting up and I'm going. Um, I was due to meet Tia, who you would have met on a vlog before at Vlogmas, to go back to Summerford Park where we go for that like hack, but the storm and the weather we're having is just, it's just awful. Um, so actually we've chickened out and we've hired an indoor arena <laughs> at, I think you pronounce it Kelso, a question? I don't know, I've not been there before, but it looks proper smart. Tia has also just become a blue chip feed ambassador, which is really exciting. I think like me, she's been feeding blue chip for years. So it was another good reason to meet up. Um, we sort of started doing it every month, which is quite fun because we sort of hack on our own a lot or on our own, own a lot. So it's quite nice to meet up. Morning, darling. She has been fed, I just didn't film it. Oh, you've got some left. Oh, good girl, it's dark in there. Come on then. Just clocked what we're doing. All suited and booted, trailer ramps down. Got your nice Stella head collar on. It's the one that um, it pops when it gets pressure. But I like to put her bumpers on still, just so that she's got a little bit of a, a bumper, basically. Um, but yeah, I just gotta put the water in and then we're gonna go. Now, I don't know if this will be a chatty vlog or a voiceover vlog because I've never been to this venue before and we do have a few patches of England that are suffering with some wind so anything could happen but yeah I gotta get the water in and then I really need to go finally made it with literally 20 minutes to spare this place is so cool I've never been here before but I am um, I'm gonna have to give you a tour afterwards, I think. But it's all brand new and proper smart. Hello! Giant pony! What school have we got? The one it's right in the one. It looks amazing. Say hi, because I am doing it. <laughs> Welcome back to the voiceovers. So this place is insane. Look at this walkway. This indoor school is like something I've never seen before. I mean, it's just amazing. It leads to this as well. Like, oh, perfect show venue. I absolutely fell in love with it. Um, it's a great place for our first arena hire. I mean, what a way to start the year. But yeah, basically the only aim of today was simply to run through the motions as you could say I wanted to just get Dublin out um, Tia had the same sort of goal just wanted to get the horses out get them in a venue before shows and stuff start Dublin also has put on a little bit of weight um, the haylage has kind of well it's made of fat basically it's fantastic for her breathing and her health but it's made of fat so she's not that fit just need to get her going again so all I did was work her around these jumps, getting her to relax and be a bit more supple. Having the jumps out was a really good thing actually, because I find that when I'm at shows and she's tense and, and things like that, I struggle to relax her because I can never practice that scenario at home. So having these jumps out meant that she was very on edge, she was really strong, she was quite tense, and it was really, really good to practice. Weaving in and out of all the fences, just getting her to relax. Now, I also need to get a bit fitter. I just found I did not ride very well at all. Not to my best ability, that's for sure. So that's something I need to go home and work on. But yes, up into canter and I'm simply, again, boring. Just getting her to relax, just getting her to soften. 
I sort of increased the speed and then got it to collect again. Simple exercises like that. And she had a really good time actually. Plenty of walk breaks were needed and we did give both of the horses plenty of little walk breaks, which was a good chance for Tia and I to have a quick natter. But then I finished the session on doing one of Dublin's favorite exercises, which is our simple changes in canter. So she's really good at these at home, but today um, she was just, oh, she was just really tense. You can see I was just really struggling and she's kind of like falling into trot rather than it being a really good transition. So it's definitely something I need to practice and I need to come out and do another arena higher basically. Just finished on a stretchy trot and then because she was a little bit tired and she was a really, really good girl, I did let her pop this little cross pole bless her uh yeah like i say she was a little bit tired but it was a safe way of doing it because she wasn't then dragging and running into the fences because i retired her from competitive jumping tia then had a little pop uh she's obviously going to be out of venting and then it was my turn to have a go i was terrified whisper is massive but tia was adamant i was going to get a ride now it's really bad because I do only really ever ride Dublin and my gosh, can I tell. I just couldn't ride him. Like he was so big and his trot, although it looks really slow, I felt like I was going way too fast. So yeah, I won't lie, I was nervous. I was really, really nervous and she was convinced that I should canter him and for about 20 minutes I was telling her no. Uh, in the end she said, look, his walk to canter is brilliant and then he stopped really, really quickly. So I kind of put my brave pants on and I gave it a go. He does, he's very good at stopping. God, I cannot believe I did that still. It's definitely something I need to do more. I need to get on more people's horses because I only ever ride my own and it shows. It really badly shows. Anyway, sweeties for my good girl. She was so good. I'm very pleased. We weren't out to achieve anything huge. It was just simply to get that first arena hire out the way. And then in true Tia and I style, we headed straight up to the cafe for some food. Now, this venue is amazing. We literally felt like we had to wipe our feet walking in here. It's amazing. Such a great venue. But this cafe, oh my God, look at this. And the food, oh my God, it was so good. But look, you've got the arenas on both sides. And I think we're gonna hire that next just for like a play around, but I couldn't get over this cafe. And the food was actually really, really good. So I really can recommend this, guys. And once we had refueled, we headed straight to the tack shop. You guessed it, more shopping. I actually was really good. Tia bought uh, some few bits and bobs, but no, I just had a good look round. But I do need to go and get some stuff before my first show. So yeah, watch out for that vlog. That'll be coming soon. Then it was time to go home. Whisper got spoiled with a lick it. I'm cruel. I didn't buy Dublin anything, but I did go around and give her some more treats before heading off. Right. Anyway, we're home and the rain has kind of stopped, so come on. There's a good girl. I think I'm actually going to put her out for an hour, let her have a bit of a roll and get muddy. But verdict on the hay bag. So if you watched my last vlog, the cleaning vlog, log, um, I spoke about how Derby House have given me this and I wanted to see if I could stop the hay because I normally get hay all stuck in here, all over the wall, but look. It has worked. It has made a huge difference. So that's given, I'm gonna give that five stars, would recommend. Um, but yeah, if you watch the cleaning vlog. Oh, look at the front. Look at that. All that, all that washing I did. 
I need to wash it again in the summer when uh, when there's no rain. But I'm going to get this one out for an hour and then I'll say goodbye properly. Okay, so that's Dub's out. I'm going to leave her out for an hour or so. It's only it's about three o'clock now anyway, so it's nearly bedtime. But I have the joyous task of re-cleaning all this. I'm not getting the hose out, but I do need to clean it out. And I need to muck out because I was late this morning. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm um, still quite tough on myself at Camden Whisper because it's terrified me a little bit. So uh, we shall see.